What's happening YouTube? Bickford's RS3 here and today we are going to do a wheel bearing because there's not very many RS3's that are the 8V version it's usually 8P so I guess I'll give you the rundown I uh, already pulled the center cap off already cracked the uh, axle bolt it's uh I used a 5 15 16 uh, I'm not sure what it is in metric. I didn't have a big enough socket. But um, we'll go from there. I'll set you up so you can see what's going on. And we'll go from there. Make sure when you crack the axle bolt that you have the weight of the car, of the vehicle on the ground. Makes it a lot easier. Uh, I'm going to turn the wheel so I can get to the back of the caliper bolts, maybe push in the pistons as well. Should be enough room. So what I'm gonna do is take this bolt off, this bolt off, and then hang the whole caliper up here. Hopefully these pads stay. I might have to actually take those out to be honest. Yeah, they don't look like they'll stay in there. <laughs> Well, maybe they will. Ah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Alright, so just grab a pick, pull right here, this will pop off, brake pad, sensor. The back bolt is 21, 21 mil.
all I'm doing is uh, zip tying the brake caliper up if you have hooks caliper hooks that really helps holds I'll take these out probably give these clean So let's get the rotor off. I put a bolt in the bottom for a lug. I know I touched the crap out of the rotor, but I will, uh, I'll clean it down with some brake clean. I'm going to take this off because it's going to make my life easier. So I'm just going to turn you off and then turn the compressor on for a minute, so I'll be right back. I'll just, I'll move you guys so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, hopefully you guys saw that. Kind of pried down on here, that didn't work, so I pried in between, that seemed to work a lot better. And 
I'm just gonna I should have maybe zip tie that to the other side and then zip that tie zip that tie zip tie this up a little bit so it's out of the way like right there well let's see let's crawl in the dirt okay so three might be able to get to that without zip tying the axle oh, i don't know what says triple squares but i'll be back be able to if I like pull this out again and then switch the axle to the other side Good times. Come on, are you fucking serious? Okay, whatever you guys do, just definitely put the caliper on the other side and put your axle up where the caliper, where my caliper is. This is bullshit. Come on. Man.
Yeah, I got one. And the other one's a crack, so should be easy. got all the bolts out for the hub all right so I'm gonna start smashing on it I do have my air chisel in case just watch out for your ABS sensor and it's actually coming Wow Stupid train. Cool, so I'm gonna clean this all up. ABS sensor looks okay. Boom. Come on, here we go. So I'm gonna clean this all up. Probably clean up where I have a few chisel marks. This is a little rough, I don't know if you can see the lip. Uh, probably clean up a few of the holes, this as well. Uh, and yeah, we'll throw the new one in. I got a new used one, so don't criticize me after we use my axle bolt. 
So uh, FYI, the RS3 wheel bearing is slightly taller, meaning taller that way, than the S3 and the TT RS. So they are only made for the RS3 for two years and they're $2,200 from Audi and then through FCP Euro, I think it is, it's 650 something US. So that's like thousand bucks Canadian. So I got this one and this one for 600 bucks. Used, cleaned up the bolts. I do have Loctite, I'll be putting Loctite on everything and torquing them to spec plus 90. And yeah, cool beans. Cool, cool beans. Beans, beans, cool beans. Stop it, stop it. So I'm going to 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 put first. I'm putting on this. Stinks. All I'm doing is feeding them in just so they're ready to be started Battery died. <clears throat> Always have a spare. Uh, it was a hair over. So I just tapped on it that way. And now they're feeding in nice.
Boa tarde. Alright, we're we'll grabbing torque and find out what torque it is. So all I did was I just unhooked the ball joint again. So I have a little bit more room to torque these down. I'm gonna do 90 foot pounds on the hubs and then 196 newton meters on the axle. All right, so I got these torqued down. It was supposed to be 60 foot pounds and then 90 degrees. I did 90 foot pounds, so I turned it as much as I could and it's good for me. So I'm just putting the axle, I just put the axle back in. I'm gonna clean up this these threads, put some Loctite and put this back in. And then we'll lock the ball joint back into the control arm and caliper back on, backing plate, all the fun stuff. Just reassemble. Oh, this is upside down, that's gonna All right, so I popped the axle in. I'm just gonna start this. Oh, I didn't put a lock tape.
So I'm just gonna get the axle nut snug just enough to get the control arm back into the ball joint. All right, um, got her back together, got the wheel bearing in, used new, newly used. Uh, if it was useful, like and subscribe. I got more DIYs coming. Oh wow, look at the dirt all over my face. Anyways, that's RS3. I will um, throw the wheel back on and then try to get another 90 degree turn out of the axle. I did reuse it and I did re, I put Loctite on it. They say that they're stretch bolts and you have to replace them, but whatever, I don't. I'm not replacing every single bolt that I touch on this thing. I've replaced a lot of them already. You should see the pile I have. Anyways, uh, yeah, look at me, I'm a mess. Bickford's RS3. Thank you. 